Down to the Middle East, where the U.S. launched a series of new strikes over the weekend in retaliation for attacks on international shipping. The Pentagon and President Biden now discussing the recent strikes in Iraq and Syria. And our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live in Washington with much more. Ben. Well, Calvin, the White House is promising more retaliatory strikes. It is in response to Iran-backed militants who have killed U.S. forces and injured more than 40 others. We're coming back. President Joe Biden is in Nevada Monday. It's there he vowed further retaliatory strikes in response to the deadly drone attack in Jordan where three American soldiers were killed. Are the airstrikes working? Over the weekend, the U.S. and U.K. launched rockets by warships and fighter jets, hitting Iran-backed Houthi targets across Yemen. It comes after Friday's retaliatory attack, with the U.S. military hitting 85 targets at seven locations in Iraq and Syria, including command and control centers, along with rocket and missile depots, in an effort to stop future attacks on American forces in the region. We had good effects in that the strikes destroyed or functionally damaged more than 80 targets at the seven facilities. The number of casualties is still being assessed. Now the Pentagon did stop short of releasing details about future strikes, but it could come as early as this week. Reporting live in Washington, D.C., Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.